Hello everyone, I'm Armin Arlaird, super fan, welcoming you back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. The final hour is finally upon us. It is time to kick the snowmads off of Donkey Kong Island. You controlled the island long enough, you can get out of here now. Because this is our island. You came here, you invaded. You can go back to wherever the fuck you came from. Seriously. I mean, why would they even need Donkey Kong Island? But, anyway. This, uh, <laughs> episode's gonna be a little bit awkward for me. Um, mainly because... Well, there's someone I know who shall remain nameless. Who apparently gets turned on by gigantic viking horns. That's... A little creepy, so... I haven't been able to stop thinking about that ever since. It just weirded me out. So we have this giant icicle cave. And holy crap. Something serious is about to go on here. And might that be... Uh, yeah, that's totally not foreboding at all. But... Holy crap, you're ugly. And they're like... Bring it on. Get off our island. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, you're have look, your your fat ass broke the ice. So now we're in some lava pit. So the fight starts out why um he makes his horn gigantic and he will shoot ice ice balls into the air. And they have snowmads inside. What you need to do is jump on a snowmad. And see how he's dancing back and forth like that? You gotta pick one up and throw it at him. Sometimes he does that. It's really annoying. It's kind of easier when you've got two players. And after that, he will come to the foreground and run at you. And when he does that, you need to jump on his shoulders, back, whatever. Because if you try to jump on, him, jump on his head, you'll be hurt by the helmet. When he jumps around like that, it will destroy the floor when he lands, so be careful not to fall into the lava. The ice blocks, again. This is pretty tame for a final boss, at least right now it is. There you are. Got you in the head. I like that. Now here he comes. And he gets really pissed off, swears at us. Ah! Please, I don't want your fat ass to land on me. So, phase two is much of the same, except this time he will shoot ice dragons out of the horn. And watch the top screen, it will let you know where the ice dragons are going to fall. And when they hit the floor, they freeze it. So now you got ice physics to deal with. That's just wonderful. Because nobody, I repeat, nobody likes ice physics. Got one of the hopping fluff enemies. I threw that too soon, and he laughed at me. Quit laughing. I'm gonna throw one of your minions. What the fuck was that? That was a little weird. I don't think I've had that happen before. So, he moves faster. And he got me right there. Which means now I'm gonna have to put up with the ice dragon crap again. Can you like stop jumping around please? It's annoying. It really is. <sighs> I'd recommend doing a uh, roll to avoid them. Except it can be really annoying when you roll right onto the square where another one is going to fall. Damn. It's like, what is he there watching you for? Watching to see whether the stupid things fall on you? Ugh, stop dodging. 
How about you take that to the face? Come on, come at me, bro. You could you could have at least given me a heart there. Like right there. Yes, cool. Now he's really, really pissed off. And you will pound the ground. Wow, I got really, really lucky there. He'll pound the ground and send the floor up skyward on jets of lava. Oh, jeez. These things make me a little nervous. Oh, I got hit by one there. Holy crap. Pay, pay more attention. Pay closer attention. And obviously, the last uh, round of hits, he's going to be running really fast. Urgh. Not really much to say, because focus time. Gotcha. Well, oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. The stupid rabbit thing woke up? Well, I managed to stomp him once. Don't do that to me, please. Mmm. Okay, you're pissed. Well, so am I. Because you're on my island. You don't belong here. Oh my god, whoa. Yeah, what's really annoying is that the pattern that those blocks fall in can differ. And just jump towards the ones that fell into the lava first. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll land on them because they'll come back up. Ah... Can you not? I said roll, not hand slap. Jeez, you stupid fucking game. I hate how touchy sometimes the controls are. You got two of those jumping rabbit guys. Oh wow, I got him just as he started dancing again. Bring it on! I jumped- I jumped him all three times. Wow. <sighs> Let's see. So he jumped towards these, and I happened to land on them. Then he starts shooting dragons from the horn. You wanna duck, jump, duck, and... Thanks for the heart. Oh, he got me. Well, just as long as I don't die, you can hit me as many times as you want. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, fuck! Those things can... Actually, I do more of them fall in phase three? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying to dodge them last time. And I'm going to try to get the finishing combo hits timing right, but if I mess up, I'll just attach a clip. Come on, come on. I gotta stop jumping over him. Let's see, is he going to do the dragon thing? No, he's going to do the... He's going to do the knock the floor into the lava again. And now the dragons. Jump. Duck. Jump. Duck. Jump. Rinse and repeat. Come on, come on. Let's see. All right! In your ugly face. Get the fuck off my island. All right! In your ugly 
face. Get the fuck off my island. And he goes flying. Bye. Come back never. And the whole ship splits in half. The snowmans are out there. I don't know what they're exactly they're doing out there, but that doesn't look good. Boom! And everyone's all, yeah! Now stay out! But holy crap, the giant horn came back. And apparently, in addition to freezing, it can also bring springtime. And the magical springtime flower shower melts all the ice. And Donkey Kong Island once again goes back to being a tropical paradise. Now I just need to fix Donkey Kong's treehouse. Just as it should be. And I like how he actually decides to um, use the horn as an instrument. And I really like Cranky's guitar. <laughs> Pretty nice ending to the game. Staff credits, credits roll, game over. It shows a, uh, um, it shows a slideshow of the different enemies, locations, like there's that stupid shark guy who sounds like a dog. Icy fortresses, the bosses, the minecart apparently. Uh, well, design. Some of you lover level designers, um, can go to hell. Fuck you, seriously. Some of your little level gimmick and sequences to collect the stupid puzzle pieces are just... No. And what really sucks is that I doubt they make the level designers play their levels before they release the game. Which, that would be kind of nice to let them have a taste for themselves just how much of a monster they created. And why are those guys wearing masks? Probably the same reason why those grasshoppers are wearing dog collars. The Boom Bomb Bird. And apparently, those dragonflies wear a monocle. What the hell? Why does a dragonfly need a, a monocle? The boss's name, by the way, is Frederick, King of the Snowmats. There's Bashmaster. And I really like the sheet, like the, the snowflake designs with everything. And why do we get to look at Frederick twice? Evil piranha plants. And what's really neat is the rune portals, the mysterious rune portals. What are you doing with all those bananas? It was fun. It was fun to play this game. Although really annoying in some parts and I wanted to throw my gamepad across the room or beat the crap out of something. Holy crap, Diddy's like, oh my god, I wonder what he saw. We may never know. So, I did mention that there are the Hidden Kong Temple levels, but I might record those at my own pace because some of them are... I've only been able to beat four of them. And, uh... Well, that guy was about to shove a porcupine staff up your butt. But, um, you have to beat all six of them in order to unlock the Secret World 7. Which, something special, well, maybe not all that special to some people, but something special happens when you complete the three levels in World 7. But, I should probably stop talking about that stuff. Because maybe one day I'll do it. I'll be sure to record all the Hidden Kong Temple levels from start to finish. That way I can include a hilarious death reel of how many times I died. <laughs> that guy and his fish throwing can be really annoying. Man, and the fuzzy bees. Some of the levels, their backgrounds and stuff are really cool. But then there's always the ones with the annoying gimmicks. But even the ones with the annoying gimmicks, the scenery and stuff can at least make you appreciate the level. Not may Maybe not like it, but appreciate it. There's a Takumi there. 
Oh yeah, that level was, was lots of fun. The minecart level, which went into the underground place. Especially the fruit, uh, the, the Juicy Jungle World 5. That one was really cool. I mean, an adventure through a giant fruit processing factory. Now, you think, oh, what's this? There's a present there. What could be inside? Well, apparently it's something really good. Would you... Ah, you found a mysterious relic. Basically, the mysterious relics, you need all seven of them in order to reach the hidden world, which obviously you can't get the seventh until you beat the game. But yeah, that was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Had lots of fun. Hope you were amused watching me fail and... Hi, phone! What a rude phone interrupting me while trying to close out the final boss episode. Well, I'm Armin Alert super fan. Really hoping that you enjoyed watching this Let's Play. And I'll see you probably whenever for the Hidden Kong Temple levels. But definitely for the next Let's Play, whatever it might happen to be. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. It's got a little demo. But seriously, see you guys later.